Hello everybody, Jason from MisprintedMTG.com here, and today I've been asked to evaluate this card on the left to see if it is or is not a sun bleach. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to show you guys what it is that I look for uh, in a card um, in order to see if it is a, a sun bleach or not. Um, this card here on the left is the card that we're going to be taking a look at. This card on the right is what the card is normally supposed to look like when we compare the two. We could see first and foremost that this card here on the left uh, appears to be lacking yellow ink primarily. Um, if we compare the magentas on the cards uh, against one another, they um, look pretty similar. There's a little bit of differences. The cyan looks pretty similar between the two cards. I mean, this one is a little lighter than this one. Um, but it's primarily that yellow. Uh, and we can see that mostly on the border. Um, here or the frame, I guess. Uh, you can see like this kind of pale washed out um, border and this one here is a richer, warmer tone. Uh, so what that tells us is that yellow is mostly missing. There might be some differences in magenta and our cyan, you know, there's a little bit less intensity in it, which is it's a little bit of an indicator um, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at the card. I was also sent this uh, close-up scan, and it's always really important when looking at sun bleaches um, in order to be able to see the individual dots, to be able to see this rosette. Um, this is just barely uh, high resolution enough where I could zoom in and take a closer look um, at what's going on with these specific dots here. Um, and as we kind of look around the card, we can see that in these areas here, uh, there are little remnants of yellow, like right here, 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 here. Um, it is very uh, light and faint. Um, and as we kind of explore around the card, we can see that's pretty consistent uh, across this particular area of the card. Um, what we see here in the darker areas is we also see little dots of yellow, um, but they are a little more intense than the dots in the areas that are not adjacent to black ink. One of the things that happens in sun bleaches um, is that the color fastness of adjacent inks will actually help the colors that don't have as much fastness. Fastness is the uh, stability of that ink uh, as far as fading is concerned. Um, and they kind of buddy up next to one another. So you'll see that uh, these yellow dots here, you know, have retained some of their intensity as opposed to the yellow dots in this lighter area that don't have uh, adjacency to black or cyan ink. Um, so that's a pretty good indicator that this is in fact a sun bleach. Now there are some areas here where we have some dots of yellow intensity, but you can see this is kind of surrounded by a little bit of black, a little bit of cyan. Um, you know, it's inconsistent. So that difference in intensity of yellow ink across the surface of the card is a really strong indicator that this is uh, a sun bleach. Um, now, also, one of the things that we want to look at is we want to look at the magenta dots. Um, we want to see if there's any change in uh, intensity in the magenta dots. Um, that's going to be a little more difficult to tell. Magenta does tend to have a little more color fastness than yellow uh, sometimes. Um, and they don't always fade at the same rate as we could see with this particular card. We could see that the yellow decided to fade first and the magenta um, is still mostly intact. Um, when we kind of look at these areas here, you know, you could maybe say that there's a difference between, you know, this magenta dot and this magenta dot, but it's really subtle. Um, but it's not enough to, you know, really cause any severe red flags. So my interpretation of this card is that it is very likely a sun fade. It is a very light sun fade. It's not been left in uh, exposure to UV for an extended period of time, which is why we still have some pretty intense yellows um, in these black areas here. Our magenta is mostly intact, but 
Um, that varying severity of intensity in the yellows across the card is the biggest indicator uh, to me. Um, if I was evaluating this card in person, um, one of the things that I would look at is the integrity of the wear coat, uh, the clear gloss coat that's on the surface of the card. You can't really get that with a scan, um, but w exposure to UV tends to break down that wear coat. Uh, again, it's a severity thing. You know, the longer a card is in exposure to UV, uh, the more that wear coat breaks down, but you'll kind of get this like crackly texture uh, on the surface of the card um, with a sun bleach. So anyway, um, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. My conclusion is that this is very likely a sun bleach. There is a small possibility uh, that it is not, but uh, you know, if I was buying or selling this card, I would treat it as if it were. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If you like this video or found the information useful, you know, feel free to like, subscribe, or, you know, do nothing. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for all of you. Thank you, and I will see you next time.